Hello, here I am with this, the Oculus Quest 2, and I will be showing you how you can get this set up in China. Now, if you want to just go straight to the tutorial, I'll include a timestamp, but if not, at the start here, I'll be talking about why we need to go through this process, the different methods available, and why I'm also going to go with my chosen one. Okay, so anyway, why this problem exists is very simple. Um, the Oculus is made by Facebook slash Meta, and when you set it up for the first time, before you can do anything with the headset, you need to make an account. So even if you have PC VR games and you want to connect it, you still need an account first and you need to set this up. And because in China, um, Facebook is banned, if you try and connect to the Oculus Facebook servers to set up and create an account, it won't work and it'll just tell you error limited connection. So for that, you need to find a method to get your headset connected to Facebook and Oculus servers. And I'm gonna be talking about four different ways that you can actually do that and then my preferred one. So the first way would be to have your router already set up with a VPN on it, which if you already have done that, you would not be watching this video now. So if you are watching this video, it probably means that you don't have a VPN on your router because if you connected the headset to your router, it would have just worked like that. Now, if you want to set it up for that, you'd have to go on, look for your VPN provider, look at which routers are compatible with their software, order the router, have it come, install the firmware on there and then run it which will take a few days and you need to spend some money. Now you could do it on the router you already have, but chances are it's come from your ISP. So it's probably quite a low power router without the protocol you need. The minimum you usually need is OpenVPN and most of the routers tend to just have, I think it's like IP2N or something like that, which is uh, unencrypted, so VPNs don't support it. And normally if you want to get OpenVPN onto a router that doesn't have it, it's lots of downloading software and modifying files and hoping it works. So it's not viable if you want to modify your own router. And if you want to get a new one, you've got to spend money, wait a few days and then finick around with it. Now, the next method is using a third party Chinese software. So there is a piece of Chinese software you can use, which helps you connect um, to the overseas servers, similar to a VPN. However, I don't know how this works. The main reason I don't want to use this is because uh, from what I set, looked at from the documentation, it seems like it's not a solution for a permanent connection. It's mainly used for you to just set up an account. So if you're looking to download games, it may not be very useful. And also it's a third party Chinese app, which you, I don't know anything about. And I don't want to trust personal details with that, especially if I was creating a Facebook account, which you do need. So yeah, that's not a great solution. Um, also on that piece of software as well, users report that sometimes they get blocked or th and lose their accounts or anything on it. So not a great solution. Um, the other one is that you could pay additional money on Taobao or your purchaser or vendor of choice in China for them to set up the account for you or to set up the headset for you more precisely. Now, normally if they set up the account for you, they'll just make a random Facebook account with a random username, password and everything, and then they'll load um, and then give you the headset. Now, this is not great because it means that you'll have an account that you're not really in control over. And for most people in China, they're not really caring much about the account details because they're not going to access it later. Um, also, normally you can put some more, uh, pay them a little bit more money like 30 or 50 quai, which is like five pounds. And they'll also put on some games on here, but normally they will be pirated as well. So if you just want something and then to play only that game, it works. But if you actually want to connect to Facebook or Oculus servers in the future it, and to download new games, it's not going to be viable because you'll only have those games and you'll run into the same problem where you need to connect to the outside servers anyway. So it's just not worth it and you may as well get it working. Now we're going to move on to the easiest solution, which is to ha make a hotspot using your PC. Now you can do this via either your laptop or a desktop PC. And pretty much what you're doing here is you're connecting your headset to your computer, which connects to the router. Now, it's not just that simple because if you run a hotspot normally, like for example, from my phone, 
or my computer, um, it won't actually use the VPN which is on my computer or on my phone. It just uses it as a relay to the router to extend the connection. So it's not actually going through your laptop um, and using that laptop connection. So that means you've got to change the configuration of your hotspot settings uh, so that you can allow your headset to connect to the VPN on your computer and and this doesn't exist on a phone. So that's the settings we're going to look into here. And um, also one thing to note as well, when you are messing around with your settings, once after everything is done, the Oculus store that you will connect to to purchase things will depend on your VPN location. So if you want to buy using your American card off the American store, you'll need to connect your VPN to America. If you want to buy something in pounds, you'll need to connect it to England. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go through the tutorial. Here we are on the PC. I'll be showing you how you can turn on your hotspot and change your VPN's connection so that it can be shared with the hotspot so that if you connect your Oculus Quest to the PC's hotspot, it will be able to connect to Facebook and Meta servers. So let's get started. If we go to the bottom left on our search bar, we can type in mobile hotspot. And we can see that coming up. We can just click on that there. Now, first thing to note is that we need to set up our hotspot. And a couple of things we need to note with this is here where it says share my internet connection over, it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Make sure you have that as over Wi-Fi as our Oculus Quest will be using Wi-Fi to connect to the internet. Um, also, your network name will normally be your computer's default name and normally you will need to set up a network password which is a minimum of eight characters. If you have not done that, click on edit, set up your password and then click on save. And it, when you want to turn on your hotspot, just click on and your hotspot is on. Very simple. But this will not allow us to connect our Quest to Facebook and their servers just yet, even though it's turned on, it is not actually using our VPN connection, which our VPN currently says we are in the UK, even though I'm not currently in the UK. So if we just turn off our hotspot here, we can go down to here, related settings and change, net, change adapter options. If we click on this, it will open up a series of connections to our left. We have a total of six connections here. You may have more, you may have less, but this is how many I have at the moment. If I turn on my hotspot, turn on, it will bring up the new hotspot connection here. Now, this one is uh, labeled hotspot. I have changed it from the previous name. It used to say local area connection, but I right clicked and changed it to hotspot just so it's easy and there we know exactly what it is. From here, we can click on our VPN connection and go down to properties. We then will be opening this tab, local area connection properties. We have networking and sharing. We can click on sharing and then we've got internet connection sharing, allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. So instead of using our, connect, our computer as a relay to the router, we can use the computer's connection directly and we want to click allow that. So now we've got our VPN and we're saying your connection is allowed to go to another connection. And now we need to choose that connection. So if we go on home network and connection, we can select a private network connection, which will have our hotspot. We click on hotspot and then we click okay. And that is it all done and finished. And it'll then say shared to say that it is sharing with that other connection. And that's it, that's all there is to it. So now we can connect our Oculus Quest to our PC's hotspot and it will then use our PC's VPN. Now using this, we can connect to Facebook meta servers to set up our account. We can download games, we can maintain a connection and we can browse the internet to our hearth's content on our Oculus Quest. Now there's only one thing to note with this. Um, if we do want to maintain our internet connection, our PC of course needs to be turned on and our mobile hotspot also needs to be turned on. Just note that if you go a while without using your PC's hotspot, it may disconnect the hotspot. So if you put down your Quest for a few minutes and it's not transferring any data, it will turn off. However, if your Quest is connected to the PC, you download a game. Ooh, 
Oh yeah, sorry. See, this is a good example. It just turned off because I don't have a device connected. But if my quest is connected to the hotspot and it's downloading a game, it will maintain that connection. So it won't turn off the mobile hotspot connection mid download. Now, the other thing we do need to note is our VPN location. Now, depending where you are in the world, you may want to access the Oculus Store from a different location for payment settings and such. So at the moment, I am on the UK VPN using my UK Wembley Express VPN connection. And with this, if I go onto the Oculus Store, it will be showing me the store in Great Britain using pounds. However, if I want to pay in dollars, I'll need to disconnect my connection and then I'll need to change it to an American connection, which will now let me see the Oculus Store as it is in America and let me pay with dollars. Now, remember, you need to change your location because if you buy in dollars and you use your UK account, for example, you're going to pay exchange fees and transfer fees. So just make sure your Express is connecting from the location you want if you're going to purchase or buy games or for whichever store you want to access. But anyway, with that, that's it. You can now, well, browse and use your quest to your heart's content and you're able to be set up. Thank you for watching. If you liked, like, dislike, dislike. Um, if there's any errors, you can contact below. Um, now, this is how I'm using it for ExpressVPN. Um, other VPN providers may have a slightly different connection for establishing your hotspot. So maybe if this doesn't work for you and you're using, um, I guess, I guess like NordVPN or you're using, I forget the name, I forget the name. Oh, Astral or using Astral. Yeah, you can check their web own websites and they will normally have directions on how to activate them on the hotspot, but this should work mostly. And if you want to see more from me in the future, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching and goodbye.